Is it? Is it? Is it? Where I can never. T it always takes like a. There's like a second of where it just. It's a black screen, and I can't tell whether or not it's actually capturing it. Like it happens every time. So you would think by now I would just be like, okay, it's working. It's obvious. It's gonna get there. It's gonna make it. It's going to get there, but I never, there's like a 1% chance that it might not, like sometimes it is, it just stays at that black screen and it doesn't start actually like capturing what is on my TV. So it's like, I never, it's, it's, it's irritating, it bugs me. What is going on? How are y'all? I am here today to show you, not this guy, somebody else out of all these selections. And so now let me, obviously, like I said before, I have been looking for a sub just to, you know, fuck around. And it has nothing to do with, like, usually when you look for a sub, you want to find a character that covers your main's bad matchups. So, I don't think Gordo actually has any, I mean, I don't know anything about the matchups in this game. I'll be perfectly honest, I know very little, but I have to say I don't believe Gordo has any bad matchups in this game. Certainly not bad enough where... I would be sitting there like, damn, I really need to have a counter pick for this matchup. So that, but that's usually, that's one of the main reasons why you would want to look for a sub, is if you have a character that uh, gets blown up by like a particular play style, then you want to have a sub character that blows up that blow up. So like I said, counter pick. Um, so it just, you have a sub that covers the weaknesses of your main. That's the usual reason why you would want to pick up a sub in a fighting game. But, I mean, obviously, of course, there's other perfectly valid reasons. You just want to play that other character. That's usually how it works for me. Like, I just want to play them. It has nothing to do with, like, matchups or competitiveness. It's just a character that I want to play, and so I play them. Um, and that's why, you know, I just I was looking around. So, obviously, I've said before, I looked at Yuzuriha and Seth. And both of them, Yuzuriha just didn't flow for me. Seth was more work than I'm willing to put in right now because I still I am nowhere near like master of Gordo. Um, so you know I want to have I want to be at a I don't want to be at a point where the sub requires more work than my main. You know what I mean? Like I want to I want to put the focus on the main for the moment. So Seth is out for a little bit, and so then I started looking at the other characters. Chaos, Biakia, and Carmine are all characters that look interesting to me, but there's plenty of all of those really not really chaos because I know chaos is considered a pretty bad character but they're not uncommon characters and then I was kind of sitting here thinking like you know I all oh, the other one that I obviously I've talked about before I like the look of Merkava how bullshit would it be if I only played like the top three characters in this game and I didn't touch anybody else so that's why that's why Merkava's out as well it's just like I'm already playing one top tier character let's not add in another one let's let, let's find somebody else that's unnecessary that's overkill at this point so um and then I kind of thought all of the characters that I am looking at aside from Yuzuriha are male I generally play male characters that's just what I gravitate towards like it's not it's not really it's just in general the style of the male characters tends to be more to my liking whereas female characters tend to be more like they don't really tend to be like the brawler types which are kind of in general the brawler type character is the character that I usually go for um that's why you know you see me play bullet I played Makoto in uh, Street Fighter those are the kind of characters I gravitate towards so I'm not like ah fuck female characters but just hey yeah fuck female characters yeah we all want to do that right hey 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 alright moving on and so I was like, you know what, let's play a female character. So I looked at the female cast. Not interested at all. Tried or didn't like it. Uh, let's see. Ori. I actually forgot about her. I'm fairly certain I would not like her. But still, I forgot she existed and I need to try her. But then it comes down to these three, right? Hilda, we already know. She's a zoner. I'm not going to play a zoner. Not going to happen. So it came down to these two. Eltnum is more played than Anase. I know nothing about this character. So I picked Nanase, as you can see, since she has a custom color already set up. And so I tried her out. Um, and I'll get into I'm going to play survival mode with her a little bit, and then I'll go to training mode and just kind of do like a brief little kind of discussion about her um, in like kind of my experience with her. But it was kind of funny. I, uh, I didn't know that there were console-specific characters. As far as I'm aware, Nanase and Byakia, I think, are console-specific. Like, they were not in arcades. But so, 
when I was initially playing this character, and I'll get into the reasons, like I said, when I go into training mode, when I was initially trying out this character, I was sitting there thinking, like, this character's really weak. Like, she doesn't have anything in particular going for her. She doesn't have anything special. Let me let me see whether or not other people think the same way I do. And so I tried to look up, you know, some tier lists. And all the tier lists were from the arcade, and the Nase was just not there. And it was very confusing. And I didn't understand that until I looked it up and saw that she, oh, damn it, and saw that she was a console-specific character. So that's one ender. And it's actually really easy to abuse. That's the other ender. You can just do that into the knockdown, but then you don't get the projectile. You don't have the time to set up the projectile, Oki. And it's kind of ironic that I picked this character who does, after my after my entire spiel <laughs> from Guilty Gear about how 90% like, of the cast uses that, a knockdown into projectile Oki. Now I'm using the character in this game that does knockdown into projectile Oki. But you can kind of abuse the AI too, just watch. Oh, she didn't jump. 90% of the time, the AI will just try to jump that. And so then you just get like a free hit. Damn it. I need to I need to get an understanding of the heights. There. So I know when to oops, I did the wrong normal. So I know when to do because a lot of the times if you're doing stuff like that, uh if you're only doing a normal jump chain, it's very rare you can get three hits in before the knockdown. I mean, have the third hit be the knockdown, usually you only want to go two. Otherwise, you have this charge move, which as you can see, knocks them back up in the air a little bit. Also, I need to figure out, as you can kind of, oops, damn it. As you can kind of see right there, man! See right there. Two man, I couldn't, I couldn't have done three. Um, what was I, I going to talk about? I completely forgot. Whatever. Oh, I think I can do fuzzies with her. She looks like I can do fuzzies with her, but I'm not 100% sure. But if I can, if I can figure that out. Ooh, that was a mistake. If I can figure out how to do fuzzies with her, I think I will make her a lot better. Damn it. Cause that's the other alternative, I can end with that and get corner carry, but I think they tech fairly early. So like, the AI delayed the tech right there, so because of that delay tech, I could have set up the projectile. But that's the main reason, cause her mix up is not amazing. She has two overheads, but one of the overheads is off of this charge move. That you've been seeing me do this move. Do, she has three follow-ups to that, and one of them is an overhead, but none of them are lows. So it's not like I can just do like, like I can do that move and then I have a 50-50 mix-up off of it. Damn it! It's just if you see that move, start blocking high. I missed? Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's kind of that kind of tends to be how it is. Unfortunately, you want to do the charge C up it. Otherwise, you either want to do the charge C or you have to do a micro dash before the jump to put you close enough to do other moves. Hey, I almost gets hit. All, almost always gets hit by that. Shit. Stop hitting me. The other combo chain you can do. Oh shit, well. Stop. That's the big that's the big thing that makes her like oh shit. Oh my god, I missed it. That's the other combo chain you can go there. It does do more damage than the other one. Uh in general, but you get and you still get a knockdown, which is great, but the knockdown isn't long enough again for you to set up the projectile. Which you want to set up meaty and then run pressure. Oh, I missed it. Oops. She was supposed to stay on the other side. And she didn't. Ah, she blocked it off. What? I guess I'll need to throw in a third move. Or, so, yeah, a move after the jump. That's the prop. That's, you see me, usually almost every single time you'll see me doing the charge JC. 
But the problem is that move that you just saw me do is a J is a J8 C, which obviously you just you hold up and then she does it like that. So this is a regular one, and then that's the J8 C. It was, does her TP really just recover that quickly? Oops. Yeah. Frame bitches. Oh shit, that actually hit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to. That's what I really need to. Does this work? No, that okay. Because well, you can OTG with this move, so that's one thing. Like if I do catch somebody like that, because I mean, I need to keep the um, the limitations of this game's combo system in mind constantly. I constantly right now, I almost always forget. Like oh, that's right, you can only do. Oh damn it. You can only do one jump cancel per combo. And so like I'll get that knockdown, I'll just try to go into that ender again. Oh, that's right, it doesn't work. Oh, that wasn't enough damage. I'm not you can actually you may have heard me mashing right there, you can spin the stick, and I think if you hit the button too, it also applies damage. But I know if you spin the stick during that move it'll do more damage but I'm not sure exactly how much it boosts every time I really need to figure out a better way to confirm that shit damn it I really need to do a different combo in the corner. Because that's a great mid-screen combo, but like I said, the problem is you don't want to jump forward in the corner because they may not be exactly in the corner and then you end up cornering yourself instead. And it's just bad times when that happens. Damn it. Is this special camp? Bitch, would you? I'm trying to test things. God damn. That actually wasn't, like, just that simple ass shit. That really wasn't terrible damage in terms of what Nanase is generally capable of. Like, her average combo damage is around 2,500. That's kind of what you should be aiming for. You can get, you can get closer to 3k and that's with using the that ground a little whirlwind attack that you saw me do but again you're giving you're taking damage but giving up Bitch. Ow. ow see it always hits always hits And that's the one thing I need to work because almost again. Oh, ow. Oh, da oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I got scared. I got scared. Whoa! God damn, that one hit just did a ton. That one little 5C. That's the one problem I have with this character. It's like a lot of the times the AI will jump over that shit. But Nanase doesn't really have any like anti airish moves. Almost all of her moves are just. Either straightforward slashes or. Oh, I thought I might be able to whiff punish that. Damn it. They're either straightforward slashes or like downward pokes. She doesn't have any upward trajectory. Except for that 3C that you see me doing, but that's a combo. That's not. I would never use that as an anti air. It's too unsafe. Oh my god, that actually worked! That didn't work. <laughs> god damn it. Fucking throws. Okay. No. Damn it. It's not good enough to be representative. Damn it. I've never gotten further than 15 with an Anase, though. Like I said, I think I can actually abuse the AI pretty well if I just assume they jump over the projectile every single time. But I haven't gotten to a point where I actually have effective combos with her yet. So anyway, just to show some things off. So like I said, when I was initially trying out this character, um, 
the main thing I was looking at was like, what makes this character good? Like, what? I'm not seeing anything. Because like I said, the character doesn't really have any mix-up. She has... Like I said, she, so this move. There's three follow-ups to this move. 4A, 4A, 6A, 6B, and 6C. So 6A is this wall bounce thing. You get wall carry off of it, etc., etc. Uh, and then 6C is the one you've been seeing me do. 6B is, oops, is this overhead. That's an overhead smash. So you can do that. And it's fair. I mean, it's not terribly uh, slow, but you can just hold up. I mean, you can't just hold straight back. Like, there's no low attacks. There's no low follow-up. So you're not going to get hit by a low. If you see me do this move, just start blocking high. And you're never going to get hit by that overhead. So that leaves her with this... Her dash moves are actually, because as you can see, she does kind of the same thing. It's fa the, it's a fairly similar animation. And so it's kind of hard to see, and that's also pretty quick. Like, it, that is not a slow overhead. Um, I believe it is special cancelable, so like I can do... Oops, not that. Oh, I can actually kind of use that as movement, can't I? Except that's really not worth it. Oh, can I? You know what? Let me just hang on. It's time for Nate to test some shit. Oops. I can't. It's actually kind of a, I wonder how good that would be as a whiff punish mechanic. Like, say I'm fighting Hilda or something. And so, like, you use this. Maybe you get under a projectile. I don't know what the hitbox is like. What her, hit, what her hurt box is like during that move. But I'm kind of curious whether or not that'd be something that would, like, get me through projectiles or something like that. So, like, a whiff punch against maybe Carmine or Hilda. Something like that. I'll have to try that shit out. Um... But so, like I said, I'm sitting there trying to figure out what makes this character a character. What makes her not just some average fighting game character with a sword? I can't find it. I can't see it. And the problem with me not being able to find it or see it is because it revolves around this. Her uh, BC move, which Gordos is terrible. Gordos is useless. I have never, it is, it startup is really slow, and the hitbox whiffs against crouchers, so I have no idea why you would ever want to use that move. I did try it a couple times when I was playing against, uh, Ty, the Carmine player, and it never worked once, I got killed every single time for it, so I, it didn't really enter my mind to try out this move, but the main part of it is, so as far as I am aware, again, I don't know a hundred percent whether or not this is true but as far as i have seen as far as i have witnessed moves in this game are only jump cancelable on hit never on block and so as you can see i'll just start holding up and i'll go through like a chain or something never wants to be get a jump even though all these things are jump cancelable not once did i get a jump however now I kind of got a jump cancel. The problem is, as you can see, obviously it goes a little high, but I can do like... And now go back in. Oh, didn't get hit. Oh, didn't get hit. And I can just, I can do that. Endlessly. Obviously it's gonna, you know, depend. Some characters will be able to blow that up, so I'll have to be careful. Um, you know, just depending on the matchup. Like, um, I bet Merkava and Waldstein can blow those up with their anti-air shit. Hilda can probably blow it up with her projectiles. Etc, etc. So it is matchup specific. But that's still, that's very strong, and you also get, you can also get a pretty decent vortex off of her kind of like floating around thing, because as you can see, she's pretty mobile in the middle of this, like it's not, and you can also, I think you can, I think you can delay it, no you can't, okay yeah you can, you can, as you can see you can delay, so basically you can either use this to jump in the air, or you can use it in the air, and then that does, she does a little bit of a hop. So you can also kind of do that, like, whoop! Oh, okay, never mind. Does that not work during assault? No, it does. I just fucked it up somehow. I guess it looks like... Let me let me just check this out. To... No? Yeah, I just fucked it up. I was checking to see whether or not this this move, the J8C, overrode it. So, like, if I'm holding up and then I hit BC, it'll do J2, or J8C every single time. But no, it won't. So that is what makes this character unique. That's what makes this character tick, is that she has extremely good pressure... Thank not not doing that. Don't do that. Actually, no. That would be overpowered as hell if I could fuck it, if I could do that. If I could cancel that. Um. Actually, let me see here. Ooh. That's very gimmicky. But I'll bet it'll hit some. I bet I'll get some hits off that. Oh, I don't have Oracle anymore. 
Oops. I need to remember what the throw buttons are. That's her one, that's her one big. She can't, you can't like, even with a, um, even with a Vorpal cancel, a grid cancel, whatever the fuck it's called. You can't, I mean, I don't actually even know, is it possible to? Kind of, but either way, you can see the combo bar over there. It just goes away, it goes immediately to orange, which means they can't be picked up. So it's impossible to follow up her throw, which is a bummer. But, however, it's still like, you get a lot of time off of Oops. You get a lot of time to do stuff off of it, so that that's cool. Oh, you know what? I wanted to try. I wonder how good that'll be. Eh, eh. I mean, Lin is really small anyway. But so that's just a brief little look into the character. Can you do the B version off? I want to see if you can do the B version. Off. I did not get the full charge. Oh, wait, well, I'm, I may have. I may have done this. Ooh, you can do the B version. I, th I think that the B version just do less damage. <laughs> I think the B version just did less damage. No, it did ex the exact same amount of damage. Okay, that's weird. So why the hell would you go? I wonder if you can use that. Just like. Your ghetto ass cross up. It really wouldn't work, because they'll be still stuck in blocks. I don't know if this game has auto blocking, but they'll still be stuck in blocks. Man. She also has a DP, but it's really bad. Like, I don't think from here, I don't think it'll hit. Yeah. Great if somebody is trying to, like, jump straight above you. Not so much anywhere else. Let me see. Okay, so that one does hit. Oh, that's right. I wanted to see. So that just did 1835. At the 2434. So now let's try. Okay, so mashing the button does nothing at all. It's just spinning the stick does everything. Oh, you know what I don't know? I don't know what the hell that move is. Did she just Rasengan this bitch? She just Naruto this bitch. Straight up, she just Naruto this bitch. Let me see if that OTGs. So what do, what am I trying to do here? What am I what am I looking to do? What am I looking to do? What am I looking to do? It definitely does. So how much damage does that apply? Not great. Not fantastic. Could be better. Oh, you know what else? I know very little about how... Oh, and I think you have to have under 30%. Oh, wait, what? I thought you had to do that during... Hang on. I thought you did that during... Void, and then, like... So, wait, 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 wait. 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 I want to try something here. That did not work at all. Oh, that just happens instead of Void, I guess? Oops. Okay, I get it now. So when you have... So then if you have more health than that, then it just goes into... Wait, what? There it is. What am I missing? Is Veil off something completely different? Hopefully I'll hit 4. That didn't even get to 4k, Nanase! Girl! Ah, uh, that's only 3 buttons! Okay, so hang on, 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 hang on. I think I understand it now, so... That's not gonna work now, damn it. <laughs> no, give me Vorpal, you son of a bitch! Oh, wait, no, that's not what I'm looking for. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. That's the setting I'm looking for. Um, wait, why did I take Vorpal? I don't even, whatever. Oh, oops. Shit! No! Oh, 
Aha! That does work, okay. But the question is, obviously, how much damage is it gonna do? Probably not. It's probably still won't even hit 4k. Please hit 4k. And not say please. And not say please. 4.3. That's with 800 damage bonus. So that's with the Vorpal bonus on top of it. Like, I don't think. I need to figure out how to max. Actually, you know what? I wonder. I got something new to try. I got something new to try. Oops, shit, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. What? Get out of here. Oh, damn it. Yes. I still only did 3.4k up to that point. With Veil off, grid bonus, everything. You must have to do some wonky shit to maximize her damage. That still only did 4.7k. Like, I ain't shit out 4.7k with Cordeaux on accident. As long as I end with a 236D, I can shit out that. Or no, actually, that's to be a half circle, right? I don't even know. Whatever. I can pretty much accidentally get 4.7k with Gordo as long as I end with his, you know, super special this thing. Well, that has a pretty good hitbox, though. So it's like I can either I can either do a combo, a full combo, and then incorporate this move into the combo. Or I can just do the move, and actually, I guess they're pretty much the exact, almost the exact same damage. I guess I get like, what, 40 more right there? 100 more? <laughs> Fantastic. Great. That's kind of, that's kind of a bummer. Anyway, that's the Nase. That's my motherfucking sub, bitches!